we got a problem and we gotta talk quiet. We have, to, we have to talk quiet. Before we get on with the day, we got a whole bunch of starlings flying around here in the field and then they go up on the pivot and they leave their mark and they make it look disgusting so what we're gonna do gosh all right what we're gonna do is I have a 57 Creed more right here this uh don't worry it's not loaded Okay, maybe it was loaded. There's like 300 birds. Got a 10 round mag. We got one. There's about five million more. Two down. What's that? 700 more? Yeah, they're so dumb, they keep flying back to the dead ones. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. That was wrong. Dude, we gotta go. We gotta dude, get rid of this thing. Let's go. That was the wrong, wrong bird. Let's go. Bird. Wrong bird. Wrong bird. Wrong bird. Alright guys, well welcome back. We are currently mobbing across the 95 acres here. Actually, we're going across like the final tillage pass of here which uh, we're gonna be planting peas here in a little bit. Before we do that, the 36 acres needs to be hayed, so we gotta go get the swather, swath it, get the rake, rake it, get the, get the baler, bale it, sack all of it. And then once we got that all done, we come back to here and finish up running the tillage, get the drills, set them up, fill them, and plant peas out here. All right guys, we got this beautiful case swather back on the farm here once again not ours wish it was but it's whatever draper headers off rotary header is put on here never mind what's going on here oakley are you going with oakley are you coming with oakley oh my god you walk so slowly you want to load up Kind of see right here it's a lot thinner it goes down that way then all of a sudden you get into some super tall stuff right here that's because wind skips from the hand lines that were out here when we were watering this we do have a pivot in here but that pivot we're working on getting that thing set up and going but it doesn't work right now so we had to lay hand lines out here and water by hand line and that's why we've got some areas especially on like the hillsides over there you can see it's actually starting to dry up and there's uh, more wind skips so in the valleys right here you know it's pretty tall stuff Right there. But 
then you get out of the wind skip and it goes back to being like 12 feet tall. Dude, a huge buck just ran up and over the hill right there. I should have. Do I got my shotgun? I should have brought my shotgun. Why did I not bring that today? Of all the days, I forget to bring my shotgun in the swather. This would be the day. It was massive. It was literally a giant. Hopefully, we'll get a better look. We'll get a better look at him. Hopefully, we'll keep pushing him out. Okay, I am pretty sure. What is up? What is up with this door? You're kidding me. A coyote literally right there, not even running away. And I have no shotgun. Scott, I'm so mad. And there's something moving in the grass right there. Speed up, let's get it, let's hit it. It's a, literally another coyote. Hopefully, no, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that'll do. That'll do. We'll kill him another day, we'll get him another day, all right? Oh, look, I don't know, there's another coyote. This one's not even running away. It's probably eating the skunk I just did. literally doing just flopping in the breeze all right we are done let's take this thing down wash it off clean it up take it back yesterday but this tractor and baler were being used we couldn't get it yesterday one day probably ain't gonna make a difference anyways
Okay, number one knotter again. That flag should be down like the rest, and it's not. So I think what I'm gonna do, you can see the twine has wrapped up on the, the twine is wrapped up on the throw, the throw arm knife gear. And so what I'm gonna do is adjust the, this worm belt probably 17 or 18 threads and I'm pretty confident that'll fix this knotter. And if you have never messed with a knotter before, these things are finger pincher 5000s. So literally, watch your fingers because you'll stick it in one area and not see the other eight pieces of knives or sharp edge or pinching area and it'll get you. Yeah, that definitely looks like the worm, the worm belt is uh, not adjusted correctly. Okay, there we go. We got this, uh, your knot grabber all cleaned off. Put the finger pincher back down. Make sure you bust your knuckles on the way. Then we'll grab this, shove that down into a deep dark corner and hopefully it'll get picked up and tie a knot. So I'm having trouble with number one knotter again and it's not uh, the worm drive belt or whatever is not working on it correctly I guess. I didn't get it right but I literally almost died because I'm messing with this stuff right trying to pull this twine up and what is that? Literally a black widow covered in dust that does not look black. Literally had my fingers all down in there. Oh my gosh. You're kidding me. That's straight up Black Widow. I do not know how I did not get bit. That's pretty nice. Okay, well, how many more Black Widows are hanging out on this stuff? I'm kind of glad that is over. It's 10 o'clock, so we're gonna go home. So what is this random dog? All right, where's my shotgun, dude? That, not about that.
Why are you the way that you are? Over here. Over here. Oakley. Over here. Oakley.